students and I am back. I am Sarim Khan studying in 5th standard and today I have brought for you a new topic that is question number 6 from introduction to physics that is first chapter of concepts of physics written by H.C. Verma. So here I have brought for you question number 6. Question number 6 is find the dimensions of specific heat capacity C, coefficient of linear expansion alpha and the gas constant R and some equations involving those quantities have been given to us. So now now let us try to solve it okay so first we okay six first we have to find out the dimensions of a specific heat capacity C so which equation for it has been given let us write it here Q equals to n C T2 minus T1 okay this equation has been given to us now we'll rewrite this equation why because we need the equation for C okay because we have to find out the dimensions of C so we'll rewrite this equation so it will happen C equals to, okay, as we know, in search we have to do letter Q as it is, we'll write letter M and T, okay, T2 minus T1, that will be also an ET. So, M and T both are in multiplication with C, now they will come in division. So, C equals to Q by MT. Now, according to this equation, we'll solve, okay. So, we know for Q, it is ML square T power minus 2, ML square T power minus 2, okay. The um, okay the, the dimensional formula for a Q is m l square t power minus two. Now for m it is m itself. For t it is k. Okay, k because here this t is our temperature which is denoted by k. Now here we can notice which which can be cancelled. This m can be cancelled to this m. What is left that is l square t power minus two. As this k will come in numerator, its power will be converted in negative symbol. As power on it was one because no power was given. We got this L square T power minus 2 K power minus 1. This is the dimensional formula for C. Now the dimensions for C are okay 1 sorry that is 2 their exponents will be dimensions. So 2 in L okay this we have 2 in L minus 2 in T and minus 1 in okay minus 1 in Okay, those are the dim our dimensions okay next is question number second for it that is okay the is coefficient of linear expansion alpha here equation we can write lt equals to l naught okay bracket 1 plus alpha okay 1 plus alpha letter t2 minus t1 this we have now we'll rewrite this equation for alpha so here it will happen okay alpha equals to lt will write here lt now those all were in multiplication with it they will come in division except one okay so lt by l naught okay t now here it was a it was a means getting to be added with alpha here it will be subtracted this we have okay so so much done now minus one is a pure number we don't have its dimension so we'll find only by this okay so we'll write for alpha it is okay lt is also any over l any length so l will write by l naught is also by l and k we can in this temperature can be written as k l l cancel Okay, LL cancel. Then now we got only K as it will come in numerator. Its power will be converted in negative symbol. So we got K power minus 1. So its dimensions are for alpha the di dimensions are minus 1 in K. This is the answer for second. Okay, this is answer for second. Now let us move to the question number third. Okay, so the question number third is, okay, gas constant R here equation is given PV equals to NRT which is known as ideal gas equation. So third, we need, okay, equation let us write here PV equals to NRT. This we have, now we'll rewrite this equation for R. So we'll get R equals to, it will take place of PV. This PV will come at its place. Now N and T both were in multiplication with R. They will come in with PV in division then okay this we got now let us find the first dimension so of pressure dimensional formula for pressure p equals to f by a so that we can divide it by those and multiply with volume so uh, equals to m lt power minus 2 that we know for force it is divided by l square we know it is for area we'll divide it l power minus 1 this we got so for p it is m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 now we'll put it in this so for r it equals to m l power minus 1 t power minus 2 
multiplied by l cube for volume we know l cube divided by and means amount of substance means mole this mole will write here okay multiplied by this t means temperature which means kelvin okay which means k now we'll try to solve it so here we can notice okay nothing can be cancelled only this l cube will be multiplied by l power minus 1 so we'll get l power minus 2 so for r we can write r equals to okay m l power minus 2 t power minus 2 k okay k okay now we can write k power minus 1 as it will come in numerator mole power minus 1 this we have now I'll put under bracket. So now th this we got dimensional formula. So the dimensions for R is okay. One in mass, one in mass minus two in length. Okay, minus two. Okay, now this we have minus two in t means okay time and here we have minus one in temperature that is k and minus one in amount of substance that is n okay so this is our final answer for question number third so this was my today's topic thank you